Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off the dishwasher's water supply underneath the sink. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the KitchenAid dishwasher drain pump. It's going to be a very easy repair and it's only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new drain pump. The drain pump pumps the wastewater out of the dishwasher. The main reason you'd be changing it out is if the motor or the impeller has failed and it's not draining, or a seal has failed and it's leaking water on the floor. In order to change the drain pump, we have to pull the dishwasher out of the cabinet. First thing we're going to do is go underneath the sink and disconnect the lines. Now that we're underneath the cabinets, you want to make sure that the dishwasher is still unplugged and you may want to throw a towel down. When we take off the fill line and the drain hose, there's going to be some water that comes out. First, we're going to disconnect the fill line. It's connected right here to the hot water valve. You want to make sure the water valve is off. And then we're going to use our 5 8 inch wrench to loosen up the hose. Once you have it broke free, you can just reach in and unscrew it by hand. Once you have it off, you can just set it down and then we can take off the drain hose. To take the drain hose off, you just want to follow it up to wherever it goes. It may go to the garbage disposal. Ours goes up to the air gap. Once you locate the end of it, we're going to take a 5 16 nut driver and loosen up the clamp. Once you have the clamp loose, you can pull it free and set it down. Now that we have the lines disconnected, we're going to close the doors and open up the dishwasher door. And we're going to use a Phillips screwdriver to take out the screws that hold it to the countertop. Once you have the screws out, we're going to lift up on the door and use it to carefully start and pull the dishwasher out of the cabinet. Once you have it out enough, we're going to grab the frame, pull it out the rest of the way. Now that we have the dishwasher out of the cabinet, we're going to lay it outside so we can get access to the drain pump. First put a towel down to protect the floor. You don't want to scratch it. Once you have the towel down, you can carefully lay the dishwasher on its side. Now that we have the dishwasher on its side, we have access to the drain pump. It's right here on the sump. We're going to put a towel down to catch any water that may come out. Now that we have the towel down, we can take the wiring harness off the drain pump. First, we have to release it from this mounting tab right here. You just have to lift up on it, get the wires out. And then we can press on the release tab with a small flathead screwdriver so we can pull the wiring harness out. Once you have the wire off, we have to take the drain pump off the sump. All you have to do is turn it counterclockwise until it stops and then lift up on it. Once you have it out, you can pull it off the dishwasher. Here's the old drain pump next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. To put the drain pump on, all you have to do is snap it onto the sump. There's this tab right here that you want to make sure that this tab on the pump is lined up with. So when you push it down and lock it into place, the wiring harness plug will be over at 3 o'clock so you can put the wire in. To put the wire in, you just have to snap it into the drain pump. Once you have it in, we can lift up the retainer, slide the wire underneath it. Once you have the drain pump installed, we can lift the dishwasher back up on its feet and take the towel out. Now we have to reach underneath and put the line through the cabinets. We want to push the dishwasher in about halfway. Then we can go underneath the sink and pull on the lines to make sure they're not caught on anything. Then we can push the dishwasher in the rest of the way. Now we can reconnect the drain hose to the air gap. Once you have it pushed up into place, we're going to use our 5 16 inch nut driver to tighten down the clamp. Once you have the drain line hooked up, we can hook up the water line. All you have to do is get it started by hand. 
Once you have it snug, we can reach in with our 5 8 inch wrench to tighten it down so it doesn't leak. Now that we have the lines reconnected, you can open up the dishwasher door, use the Phillips screwdriver to put in the screws, and hold the dishwasher to the countertop. Once you have it screwed to the cabinet, we can close the dishwasher door. Then we can plug it back in, turn the water back on, and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.